the day is finally here, my friends. I can't believe this is how my life is turning out. Seek to ask Wall's expedition, go. Hey now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Say, hey now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the house wall. Hey now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Hey now, seek the walls. Everybody. Everybody, the Today we ride to the Oswalds. Now, welcome to episode 38 of the David Angus Show. And it will probably be the last episode because we're likely going to die. It's that sort of mentality that makes life fun, Dave. Angus, we almost died like three times in the training. Yeah, I can't believe we're fucking doing this. Well, welcome to the passengers, crew, and officers of the Illuminati scumfuck. We're all going to die. I don't know, Dave. Some of us might live. I doubt it. Aren't you a ray of fucking sunshine, David? Right. The world is round. Realm. You're shitting on science. No. You're a fraud and a charlatan. Actually, an Angus is German and Irish. You're spreading disinformation. Unsheeple and a sheeple. And you're doing it for money. See, and asphalt is expensive, Dave. You cut every fucking corner. Yeah. It's likely we'll die on the way to get to the fucking boat. Have you ever watched The Secret, Dave? The Secret? The ancient wisdom of The Secret, Dave. What? All that woo-woo shit? Well, you're doing the opposite of what The Secret teaches, Dave. So The Secret is anti-common sense. I'm saying to bring good thoughts into the world, mm. Dave. You're bringing in the bad thoughts. We gotta blow those no. away. No. <laughs> Quit blowing on me. I'm blowing away your negative energy, Dave. Right. For the last time, the world is round. Realm. It is not hollow. Yeah, huh. There are not polar bears in Antarctica. Guard bears. You are not an expert on anything. Check out my TED Talk. Angus, you didn't do a TED Talk. Yes, huh. Angus, you were in a conference room at a fucking cheap hotel. And I inspired this journey we're about to embark upon. Yeah, I should have read my contract better. Yeah. We're all gonna die. Whatever, Dave. Are you all packed up or are you just gonna live off of denial now? Yeah, fuck you, Angus. Alright, the first leg of this journey is to get to Argentina. Which I would normally be excited about. Yeah, I thought you liked to travel, but Dave. I like to go and be educated by cultures and see new things. Oh, you're about to be educational. In the many ways that I could die. And there's no newer thing to see than the fucking ass walls and the hollow earth, Dave. I just can't believe it's gotten this far. And Angus's desire to go much further has not yet been satiated, David. I'm pretty sure that I'm in hell. I think it's time that an Angus addresses his crew and the passengers of the Illuminati scumfucker. Today is the day, you twisted fucks. For all our lives, we've taken one step at a time to get where we're going. And on this day, those steps, well, they're going to lead us to a plane that's going to lead us to a boat that's going to lead us to the ass walls. The world is round. And while there have been many naysayers, hello, mainly talking shit about me on the internet, we have overcome that. And we have overcome the fact that we did not raise nearly enough money to do this thing properly. Yeah, we're seriously fucked. But an Angus has cut the corners necessary to make this trip both possible and for hopefully you not to die. We're going to die. Thanks to you cunts at patreon.com forward slash scatcast and all you brave souls that purchase boarding passes and also you find folks that buy merchandise at scatcast.com. We have procured not only the boat that will take us to our deaths to them fucking ice walls, I'm in hell. But also an airplane. No, not the whistling shit can shifty made that shit. No, that doesn't look safe at all. But we chartered an airplane from the United States down to Argentina that's not necessarily like, you know, safe at all. First class. No, we're probably fucked. But we also got a bus that's going to take all of us together to our deaths. And if all things go like an Angus has foreseen, they won't. By the end of this podcast, we will set foot in our brand new home for the next two weeks. Our future coffin. The SS Illuminati Scumfucker. It's not big enough for everybody that's going. It might have some tight cramped spaces and some of you will have to sleep on the floor. But crew and passenger alike, we will be merry. We will sing sea shanties. And I, Angus Blackburn Jr., your captain and or king, will tell each of you a bedtime story and rub your foreheads because you're a good boy and or girl. Angus, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know at this point. I'm very drunk. Right. I will kiss you on the forehead for five dollars. I'm a capitalist. Goddamn. But don't be fooled for a second and Angus is strict on his boat. Insubordinates will come with flogging. Yikes. Keel hauling, right, Dave? It's your delusion. And don't you think for a second lippy motherfuckers won't have to walk the plank. But it's all to keep order so that this day will lead to the day that we step foot inside the hollow earth after conquering the ice walls. We're gonna die in the ocean. Nuh-uh, Dave. Or die in this cheap, shitty plane that he rented for everyone. That's a negatory, Dave. I've been assured by my top people that all the T's have been dotted and the I's have been crossed. Yeah, that's not how you say that. I'll jot and tittle your face, Dave. What? The day that began at a Ramada Inn in Spokane, Washington, where I declared to the world my intent to seek them fucking ice walls, Dave. Now, a lot of people have tried to talk some sense into you, but whatever. Fuck the haters, Dave. If they're not haters, they just don't think that you're right. That equates to aggression against an Angus. That's fucking ridiculous. You will bow down to your captain slash king, Dave. Now, the fuck I will. Today, your steps are transforming you from a hero to a legend. No. Even Dave here will get a cool nickname like Dave the Unsheepler. No, thank you. Hell, the kid behind the counter at Arby's that sold me 25 pounds of regular roast beef sandwiches for this journey is going to be famous, Dave. Yep. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ice walls! Yeah, you just gave me the cheese bumps. Well, take your bumps of cheese and shove them up your hemorrhoid-infested asshole, Dave. Okay. Because dozens of brave individuals have taken this plunge with an Angus, and an Angus will never forget this. Yes, I might sacrifice you on the boat. Yikes. And no, you're not allowed to look at me or talk to me. And don't you fucking dare start telling me about your life.
life, but an Angus loves you. No, he doesn't. It's among my top 32 priorities to bring you home safely to your families. Thus ends this captain's communique. Yikes. For more updates, check your boarding pass constantly. What? I'm going to talk to the passengers and crew often throughout this process, Dave. Oh, goody. Whatever. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. When fashion models like me frolic into fall, we don't wear poor people garbage, but here's some poor people garbage for you that we're going to wear so that you'll buy it. I eat 1,200 calories a week. It's the new pumpkin spice clothing line at the Gape. Oh, look at my butt. They photoshopped my ass to look like this. Here at the Gape, we like to show you models acting like poor so that you'll feel inadequate about both your clothing and your economic status. Don't be a loser. Right, well, we hope you're a weak-ass bitch and you feel bad. Here, look at this guy's abs. <laughs> I want a cheeseburger so much. You will never achieve abs like that. Oh. Your shame drives our sales. You are not going to look as good as they do, oh. but your peer group will make you feel like a cunt if you don't buy this shit. Please help me. Look at these models. I bet they have an orgy together later. <laughs> Drive your shitty car down to the mall and get your poor ass into our pumpkin spice clothing line only at the game. Today's a day that we're seeking ass walls. No goody. And we hope you've trained yourself well in this Angus Blackburn Jr. Seek to Ass Walls training course. Probably the worst experience of my life. Dave was a bitch the whole time. Yikes. There's four training courses for you to ingest. Yeah, most of the shit was taught to us by a fake Navy SEAL, Angus. He had a trident tattoo no, on him. Anybody can get anything tattooed on him. Well, he did teach us a few things before he left us stranded somewhere and never came back. Yeah, he left us to die, Angus. But we're stronger for it, Dave. Whatever. And you can be too. You can get your $10 boarding pass still today. They can't actually get on the boat with us. No, our red, gold, and VIP purple are all gone. I can't believe how many of you there were. Well, we didn't raise the $80 million, but... Yeah. Not even close. Close enough to make this trip kick-ass, Dave. Angus, the food you're feeding people came in 50-gallon drums. Oh, don't worry, Dave. You and I aren't eating that shit. Angus, what the fuck is wrong with I you? I got sick to Aswell's fever, Dave. And when an Angus is sick to Aswell's, he always reaches for Rackard. What are you doing? I'm trying to get Rackard as a sponsor. What? When my odoriferous emanations are overwhelming, an Angus will shove this tube of smell good into a stink pit. Angus, that's Old Spice. Yeah, they can't see that, Dave. Right, but that's Old Spice. Old Spice already seems to have an advertising campaign down pretty much there, Dave. Right. Well, what the fuck are we doing? I don't know. Let's get back to seeking them Aswell's. Angus, what are you doing? Well, we got a few minutes before we get to the airport. I'm going to address the crew. Angus, the bus driver's eyeballing you. Yeah, that's borderline violence there, Mr. Bus Driver. Now, I know an Angus has commanded all of you to be quiet, and I know that is difficult for some of you. I'm looking at you, shitbox wizard. I, I, I don't want to hear it. I feel like I heard Deja Arnold back there. I know I heard Lynn Hoagland back there as well. Angus, will you sit down? Now, listen, all right, we're not going to the Spokane International Airport. We are going to a private airport, a little smaller, and when you see the airplane, I don't want you to freak out. It's a shitbox with wings. Right, rule number two. Do not listen to Dave. I'm supposed to be your first mate. There's only one captain, and Angus is his name. Oh, God damn it. I noticed someone's in the bathroom. Who's in the bathroom? Chris the Dookie Slayer slaying Dookies in there? Angus, what is the point of what you're doing? King Angus is trying to keep all the subjects in line. Holy fuck. Now, I know that there's some sexual tension going on on this bus. Oh, my God. Now, this king has his queen, and she's super pissed that I'm doing this. Yeah, she is. But an Angus decrees y'all are free to fuck each other if you want to. Yikes. All right, now we're almost to this airport. Now, I want all of you to look underneath your seats. Reach under there. Yeah, right. No talking, or I will fong you. Now, under each of your chairs was a piece of paper. Now, if your piece of paper says, hey, congratulations, you get a life vest. Holy fuck. Ask for when we get on the boat. Yikes. Now, if your piece of paper says B, you will be assigned to bed and not have to sleep on the floor. Oh, Silence. Right. Seeking nice walls ain't no fuck around session. That's deluded narcissism. I appreciate that, Dave. Now, if you got a letter C on your paper, now you guys all sign the waivers. Oh, fuck. But your names will go into a hat to be pulled out in case we need to sacrifice you to either the reptiles and or mole people, the gods of the sea, or the pirate type hostage situation. None of you need to get on the plane. You can still go home. That's about enough of that. Everyone? No. No listening to Dave. Last thing, some of you may have got a little uh, asterisk. Asterisk. A little kitty butthole thing. All right, there should be three of you. Raise your hand. Don't say anything. Raise your hand. All right, Kenneth Mayo, Jose Montez, and Michelle Betts. You are in charge of the bathrooms, all right? There's kind of a fuckload of us, so you will work in shifts. You will report to me. You will not look me in the eyes. You guys will be in charge of coming up with a system to make it fair. I'd say $5 for number one, $10 for number two. You're going to charge people to go to the bathroom? Just on the boat, Dave. What is wrong with you? Right, whatever. You three bathroom sergeants, you coordinate with the quartermaster Bodie. As soon as we get on the ship and figure out, like, a ticket system or something, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people brought toilet paper, Dave. I could charge for that. You're like some kind of monster. Whatever. We'll be right back after these messages. Traumatized Clown Group International Records presents Deranged Clown Brigade Incorporated, their 82nd album, Murder Clown Chronicles in the Key of Hate, featuring hit songs, No One Was Ever Nice to Me. Never did you say a nice word to me. Now it's stab, 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 stab to you dead. Never did you hang out after work with me. Now it's stab, stab, stab to you dead. Also featuring the new single, I Just Need a Hug. I need a hug. Even a clown can cry. I need a hug. I need a hug. Even a clown can feel your pain. Give me a hug. Even a clown who wants to see you die can feel again. Yeah, yeah. 
then there's this weird song that got them put on a no-fly list. This Jeffrey Dahmer, Ed Gein, Eileen Warner's Palpatine, Night Stalker, Son of Sam, Yakin Kroll, and Anakin, Ted Bundy, Chickatillo, Edward Kemper, Master Fisto, Jack the Ripper, Dennis Raider, Boba fucking Fett. I like Star Wars and learning about serial killers, lightsabers and murder horns. And that is what's for dinner. I like Star Wars and learning about serial killers, lightsabers and murder clowns. That is what's for dinner, baby. And then there's also this song for some reason. God damn, look at all you nasty fucks. Throw your hands up if you need a hug. God damn, every fucking one of you. I got a little hope left, so what you gonna do? Say, boom, motherfucker, now clean your room and wash your ass and stop doing drugs. Said, boom, motherfucker, clean your room. You're doing fine, but you could do better. Boom, motherfucker, clean your room. Wash your ass and stop doing drugs Said boom, motherfucking clean your room You're doing fine but you can do better The new album from Deranged Clown Brigade Incorporated Murder Clown Chronicles in the Key of Hate Only available on Traumatized Clown Group International Records Welcome back to Right Guard Presents No, let's seek the Aswell's Expedition no, Right Guard is not a sponsor They missed out on this one, Dave no, I'm sure they'll want to be part of the next one That's what I'm thinking I'm also thinking let's get back to the expedition, Dave Right, well, whatever This is us at that tiny little Spokane airport Yeah, being introduced to the Big Booty 3 Yikes. The airplane taking us from where we are now to where we're going next Like in Argentina Super Southern Argentina This is gonna be terrible Yeah, we're seeking them walls Let's do it Now, wait a fucking minute We're supposed to fly in that fucking thing? Yeah, for about 16, 17 hours now, Angus, I'm begging you Can we please just refund these people their money? Now, everybody seems to be pretty Stout, Dave. I guess this plane doesn't look like it can even fly. I've been told we've only exceeded the maximum occupancy by a few dozen, Dave. No, it doesn't look like it can even hold it, does it? Well, like I said, it's not going to be first class. I guess how did you even find this plane? The Big Booty 3? I found it on the internet. Okay, well, I hate to know what happened to Big Booty 1 and 2. Oh, they both crashed on the very route that we're taking. God, fucking goddammit. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. I admit, this is bumpier than I thought it would be, Dave. You motherfucker, this is ridiculous. Everybody seems to be fitting pretty cozily, Dave. We're practically on fucking top of each other. Oh, shit. Oh. Right, yeah, turbulence are pretty bad. Also, I think somebody brought a goat. Oh, somebody did bring a goat. I said pets were allowed. How the fuck is a goat a pet? Whatever, Dave. Shut the hell up. Uh, who brings a fucking goat? It takes all kinds to be a scat sack, Dave. Yep, you killed us all. Who the fuck has touched me? Oh, hey, Michael Brzezowski. What'd I say about making eye contact, buddy? Yeah, I will fong you next time. I see you're going out of your way to make this miserable for everyone. Right. Alan. Alan. Sweeting. Alan Sweeting. Stop fucking with Arthur Boland. What is that, a little firework? Yeah, I asked Alan to bring us a bunch of fireworks for the surprise at the end. Right, well, he's trying to light Arthur Boland's shoe on fire. Arthur's a pirate, Buster. He can handle it. Hey, Brzezowski, Michael, get off me, man. Sorry. You're not supposed to touch the king, buddy. Sorry. Hey, check it out, Dave. Look out the window. Holy fuck. That's yeah, the whistling shit can, Dave. Holy fuck. Hi, Shifty. Wave to Shifty, Dave. Oh, there's Paul Folks, too. Hi, Gray Castle, buddy. Hey, Paul. Hey, Dustin Dubois. This is dangerous. Yeah. You can see Shireen. She's the navigator. Shireen, much. Hi, Shireen. Yeah. I hope he lived through this. Yeah, there's West Denton, too. His his nickname is Testiculon, Dave. Right. You've got to have a lot of Testiculons to fly in that fucking thing, that's for sure. That's what I'm thinking. we got a pretty good group here, yeah, Dave. And you're going to be responsible for all their deaths. For all their glory, Dave. No, this is fucking ridiculous. No, we got a good crew, man. Look, that's Shane Lousberger right there. He's our head cook, man. Cook us up something good, man. Okay, no. Oh, God damn it. Dude, Shane's nickname is Shane. You know that? No, I didn't fucking know that. I'm going to go play poker in the back with Julia Manu, Nick Wasmer, and James Fox. I can't believe you drug me along in this shit. You're in a fucking airplane, Dave. I think you might want to think about accepting it. Eat your whole fucking ass. Ten hours later. Hey, Dave, have you thought about who you would have play you in the movie about your life, man? I can't say that I have. Will you leave me alone? I'm trying to sleep. No, the world moves fast when you become famous, Dave. You need to understand this. Right, okay. Fame is quickly approaching, Dave. Yeah, it's not. You're going to want to think about stuff like this, Dave. I mean, goddamn, Dave, I've already figured out the seating arrangements that I want for the Seek to Aswell's victory celebration. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so far you're sitting at table three. Okay. But seriously, though, Dave, who would you have play you in the movie about this? Uh, nobody's going to make a movie about this. I think you should be played by Zach Galifianakis. I like him. He's very, very good. Well, you kind of look like him, Dave, except for he's handsome. Right, well, go fuck yourself. I think I should be played by either Sir Paul McCartney, the Beatles, Sir Ian McKellen, fucking Gandalf, or Sir Patrick Stewart, the card. They're all much older than you. Only a trained thespian that has been knighted can fill the shoes of an Angus Dave. What in all the fucks are you talking about? Fine, Brad Pitt and Hugh Jackman, they could also be acceptable. I still can't believe somebody brought a fucking goat on board. There's like four or five dogs and a cat, Dave. They're gonna go on a boat with us in the ocean. Yeah. Angus, you're a podcast host at Pissport. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. As I was saying before the plane, I'm Almost broken 
too. You're a podcast host and a piss poor one at that. What the fuck are you doing leading all these people out to their deaths? We're just having a good time, Dave. This is not a good time. It smells like goat shit. Well, that's because of that goat, Dave. We've already been over there. I can't believe you dragged me into this. I can't believe yeah, it. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, Dave. Calm blue oceans, Dave. Calm blue oceans. Yeah, fuck you, Angus. We're going to end up sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Well, that's if we don't crash into a mountain first. What did she just say? What did she say? She said, sink to Aswells, motherfucker. No, she didn't. She said something about seatbelts. Whatever. We'll be right back after these messages. Scatcast Audio Pictures presents. There's something moving out there, Dave. It's not a normal kind of zombie, Dave. No, we are super fucked. Reality is stupid, Dave. Follow me! Dad, don't go in there! Oh, fuck. God, that guy loves his beans. Man, does. Behind you! And Angus just wanted simple things, Dave. Quiet, Angus. It's right there. <laughs> Did I win, Dave? No, I think you just pissed him off. We gotta find Mom. I don't think your mother made it, boy. No. There's thousands of them. Welcome to hell. Well, it certainly doesn't smell nice. A new breed of smart zombies has emerged. The moonshine Pangea is not it working, is Dave. panacea. And what do you mean it's not working? The zombie Pangea don't work, Dave. The word is panacea. My daddy's moonshine's not working anymore, Dave. The world is dying. Are we alone? Don't kiss me, Dave. Run! Angus Ninja Sword. I don't want to hear it. I told you keeping the Ninja Sword was smart. Get back to Jersey. Dad, no. Gus. Grandpa. Revenge will be Angus's. <laughs> The zombie horde approaches, Dave. There's too many of them. I love you, man. Go fuck yourself. No one stops in Angus. I can't do it, Dad. We have to, boy. This sucks. Yeah. Welcome to the place where you die. <laughs> I like the city made of garbage better than this, Dave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to eat us. Hey, there, big fella. I'm going to fucking pop. Where's my boy? A new wave of the zombie plague is sweeping America. Girl, Dave, I have to find my wife. What the fuck do you think I've been trying to help you do, Jesus? Yeah, but well, we got to, like, hurry. Watch it. Yeah. yeah, don't roar in my face like that, fugly. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> Chugsy, Chugsy, no! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're also fucked. <laughs> I can't hold him off for much longer. Would it help if I told you I had chips, Dave? Turn it mine. Yeah. This is Angus Blackburn Jr. calling all survivors. I just want to go home, Dad. I know, Roger Clemens. I just wanted to watch some John claude Van Damme movies. You guys wanted to go fucking save the world or some shit. You never did have a choice. Angus! My beans! Jesse! I will find my wife, Dave. Oh, no, no, Jim! My beans! There's not a shortage of beans, Dad. I mean, you can never have too many beans. Post-Apocalyptica Season 2, starring Dave and Angus, coming soon. We now return to me and Dave here, seeking them asswells. I cannot believe we survived that fucking airplane. Yeah. Nobody said seeking the asswells was going to be easy, Dave. Angus, there was no bathroom. People were shitting in the corner. Yeah, 16 and a half hours. You should probably have a bathroom in the yeah. thing. At least Jason Klasser had the idea of all the shitting in the bucket so we didn't fucking slip around everywhere. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Yeah, this has been the worst few weeks of my life, and this is just getting worse and worse. Right. Always look on the shit side of life. Right, Dave? Well, after shitting in a bucket and thinking I was going to die for almost 17 hours, I'm wondering what the fuck is in store for me next. It's a bus ride, and then we get to meet our boat, Dave. Right, well. Are you finally wrapping your mind around the fact that we're seeking ass well, Dave? No, this has been stupid since the moment you brought it up. It's been stupid the whole time, and it's stupid right this second. You're telling me the impromptu wrestling tournament on board the plane was not fucking kick-ass? It was crazy. Joe Labardi and Joseph Leone crashed into the door and almost fell out the fucking plane. Aaron Biddle was there to but catch him, I Dave. I know that, but if he didn't catch him, then Jonathan Elliott, Mark King, and Sean Dopp would have fucking fell out with him. I told you, Dave, seeking Aswells ain't fucking easy. No, it turned into Lord of the Flies before we even landed the plane. It might have looked like David Carpenter and Ashley McIntyre were trying to fight to the death, but they weren't, yeah, Dave. Ashley was choking him out pretty good. It was well choreographed, Dave. Ashley was beating him over the head with a table leg, I guess. Well, I'd have you know, Dave, it's the official dance of the Illuminati scumfucker. What, a choke out beat down? Why not, Dave? Whatever. How long are we supposed to walk? Where's the fucking bus? Well, Dave, since some of the things that we're doing are taking Technically borderline legal. Oh, fuck. We kind of got a hell of a hike, but we'll get there soon. Yeah, everybody's looking really tired. Did you think about maybe a hotel or something? Uh, we didn't have a hotel in the budget, Dave. All right. But I did instruct the Discord Dookie Slayer to hand out some high sea and or Capri Suns. All right, but I don't see any of that. Yeah, well, he told me to go fuck myself, so I asked the shitbox wizard, and hopefully something yeah. will happen. You brought Capri Suns? Was this a field trip to you? Capri Sun is battle food, Dave. Whatever. I don't have any energy to talk to you. Fine, then. I'm going to go hang out with James O'Brien and those cunts over there. Well, I guess you told everybody not to look at you and not to talk at you. Unless and Angus talks to them first. That's why they're kind of avoiding you. I'm their captain slash king, Dave. You stop saying that. And Angus must keep order. Valerie. Valerie Jordan. Yeah. Glad to have you on the Aswell's mission. Angus, why the fuck did you just yell at I her? I didn't. I was very cordial. Valerie! Was I just yelling at you? Yeah. See? I'm thanking her for joining us on the mission. Right. Well, now she's hustled away. I appreciate you, Valerie. Now, did you ever stop to think you might not be good at this? Whatever, dude. I gotta find Uber Chad. Now, did Chad Milton make the trip? Did he make the trip? He's on the fucking crew, Dave. All right. Well, I don't know where he is. Well, if you see him, let him know I'm looking for him. Him and Robert Newsom. I'm looking for Newsom, too. I can only imagine what that's for. It's a captain's business, Dave. Whatever. Are you sure there's a fucking bus? Am I sure there's a bus? As sure as I am.
him that there's asphalt, Dave. Well, I don't see a bus. Whatever. Where's John Meacham? He's got to... I don't know. He's got the compass. He's a navigator. I don't know everybody's name yet. Is that David Icke? Yeah, he was already in Argentina for a crystal slash lizard conference. Oh, okay. Was he a friend of yours? He's a friend to all of us, Dave. Well, isn't he a crazy nut bar just like you? Just a little bit, Dave. Well, what the fuck does that mean? All hail the Godhead, Dave. I don't know what the fuck that means either. Just help me find John Meacham because I think I gave him the map. Wait, we need a map to find the fucking bus? Yeah, a lot of this was thrown together really fast, Dave. Fuck. Three hours later. Angus, we're all fucking tired. Yeah, just one more thing to go, Dave. Now, you said that three things ago. Well, I sent Red Team 1 up ahead. Now, what are you talking about? Well, I broke up all the boarding pass ranks into teams. So Red Team's 1, PJ Suniga, Josh Miles, Chris Essen, Michael Brunette, and Richard Schwarm. That's got to be one of the best names of all time. The old Dick Schwarm? Here. Okay, so do you have, like, walkie-talkies or something? No, we have cell phones, Dave. I'm not getting a signal on my cell phone. Oh, that's not good. Right, well, hopefully Josh, Chris, Michael, Dick Schwarm, and PJ don't get lost. That's well, all right, Dave. I sent Ryan Atlas Stower. Hunter Bill Bro and the shitbox wizard out after him. I'm pretty sure Kyle Moffat went with him, too. How do you know all these names? Our captain knows all the shitheads on board a ship, Dave. Right, well, I'm sick of walking. Just one more thing, Dave. Yeah, you keep saying that after everything. Yeah, and we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, fellow humans. My name is Zach, and I'm the co-chair of the Reasonableist Party. I personally think that all governments are ridiculous, archaic, and the worst form of superstition. But I've been told I'm a fucking weirdo for saying that. So with my two buddies from the Just a Ride podcast, we've created the Reasonableist Party. We know we're not going to live in a world where we're treated like adults because we're really just all stupid cunts. But our party is designed to remove the things that are dumb. Like the drug war. That's dumb. But I could go on and on listing all the dumb things that government does. Here's a list of things that government does that are great. There is the... The roads, I think. The roads. Here at the Reasonableist Party, our platform is politicians are cunts. What? All of them. Hey. Yeah, even that one. Oh. The media is terrible too. Fuck. And so are those big companies that use government to fuck competition and essentially rule over us peons. We also think the government is terrible at handling our money. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have lots of ideas on how to spend it, but they all suck. And we got to stop trusting them with our money, don't we? Here at the Reasonableist Party, we don't have the answers. Again, I personally think government is a cancer and I just want to remove it. And then, you know, what do you want to replace cancer with? Healthy stuff. Exactly healthy stuff. Now, we've been working on this self-government shit for a couple hundred years, and we're okay at it. But once again, large portions of our country have found themselves fallen deep into a hole of ideology. And gosh dang it, aren't ideologies just the stinkiest of holes? Every single one of them. What about mine? Well, it certainly makes it a waste of time talking to you. Uh -huh. If your beliefs can easily be summed up on a website somewhere with bullet points, are you sure you're not a cunt? Because that seems like something a cunt would have going on. So join us at the Reasonableist Party. We hate ideology. We hate politicians. We hate our dumb, irresponsible media. And we hate the big companies that cheat their asses off to win. And we bet you do too, because you're probably also trying to be reasonable. So join us every Friday for the Just a Ride podcast as we talk about our wieners and the reasonableist party. I've been some guy that you've never met, and I approve this message. Don't hate the haters, because we hate the word hate. Durham. And we return to the Scatcast Presents the Ice Walls Expedition Special, which is stupid, and the world is round, and listening to Angus is a mistake. Anyway, here we go. Angus, we're all exhausted. Fuck, nobody wants to sing this. That's all the more reason to sing this. We're going to bring up the energy, all right? We're in the bus, but you're allowed to talk for this moment. Here we go. Yeah. Illuminati scum fucker, here we go. Illuminati scum fucker, all alone. Illuminati scum fucker, she's our home. Illuminati scum fucker, go. Come on, Dave. Illuminati scum fucker, she's our gal. Illuminati scum fucker, ice walls, wow. Illuminati scum fucker, fighting off the scum. Well, I'll be fucking legends when we're done. Especially me. Illuminati scum fucker, to hollow earth we go. Illuminati scum fucker, to punch a shark in the nose. Illuminati scum. Come fucker, Angus at the helm. It's a world entirely flat, no, it's more of a realm. Well done, everybody. That's right. That's right. Give yourselves a round of applause. And Angus commands you to clap. Fuck. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Captain Blackburn Jr. here. After more than 24 hours of traveling, fuck, plane, bus, automobile. I would ride a donkey if I could go home right now. Well, the bus took us to the docks, or the port, or some shit. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Well, I give a fuck, Dave. I'm about to see the Illuminati scum fucker for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And we get to meet our co-captain, Captain Calgary. Is this the guy you rented the boat from? Yeah, he's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, nothing makes sense in this. I know, right? Dave, 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 look. Oh, fuck, tell me that's not it. That's her, Dave. Oh, fuck. It's the Illuminati scum fucker. She's oh. beautiful. Full day. No, she's not. She's a fucking rust bucket. No, Dave. Look at her. She's she's perfect. A perfect rusty tomb to die in. No, she's home, Dave. 
She's gonna help us seek them walls, Dave. Nope, step the fuck out of it. It's not gonna be big enough for all of us for one. Oh, Dave, she's plenty big. She's perfect. I'm gonna run to her. You're gonna run on the dock to the boat. Yeah, like in the movies, Dave. Like slow motion shit. Maybe you probably shouldn't run on the dock. Angus, come back. And Angus do what an Angus do, Dave. Hee <laughs> yeah. I'm slow motion running to you, Illuminati scum fucker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Angus off the dock. Don't worry, and Angus Blackburn Jr.'s plot armor is very strong. And after Dave pulled me out of the ocean, we made our way for the very first time to the SS Illuminati Scumfucker. Now, for those of you with boarding passes, it's time once again for you to use it. Take your tour of the Illuminati Scumfucker now. But for those of you who didn't throw down money to the Angus Blackburn Jr. Seek to Aswells expedition, we'll see you next Thursday for part two of the Angus Blackburn Jr. Seek to Aswells expedition. I hate this so much. Well, join us next week. We'll meet the entire crew. We'll sing some songs and have some brews. I'm all gonna die. Well, you probably will. Right, I'm almost certain of it. Well, we gotta give thanks to all our VIP Purple Pass holders. Now, I can't believe how many of you there are. They are all producers of this week's show, next week's show, and the week after that. Donald Fisher, now, Shitbox Wizard, Michael Brzezowski, Arthur Bolin, Lynn Hoagland, Shane Livelsberg. That could be Livelsberg. I said it right earlier. Deja Arnold. Yeah, Michelle Betts. Nick Wasmer. Joe Labardi. Joseph Leone. Dustin Dubois. Dubois is shifty, our Sky Marshal. Right, James Fox. Kenneth Mayo. Thank you, Kenneth. Yep. Aaron Biddle. Aaron saved the day earlier. You started a fight club on an airplane. Yeah. Julia Manu. Yep. Jonathan Elliott. Paul Folks. Yep. Thank you, Paul. Mark King. Sean Dopp. Jason Claser. Alan Sweeting. The fabulous Jose Montez. And the last VIP to board, Kyle Moffat. Thank you all. Yep. I'm stuck on a boat with with him. Thanks to all of you. All right, well, here's the deal. So you can use your boarding pass September 29th, that should be today, right. at noon Pacific Standard Time. Okay. And you can take the tour of the Illuminati Scumfucker. I think this is the dumbest thing I've ever been a part of. I appreciate that, Dave. All right, everyone, we'll see you next week. If we don't die immediately. Yeah. Check your boarding passes. Let me rhyme upon my feelings about the weeks ahead. We got a boatload of you fuckers that we gotta get fed. Because this ship is expensive and the beer ain't free. There's a lot of shit we gotta accomplish before we head out to sea. We got two weeks of training and a boat to make float. We gotta raise a lot of money so an Angus can glow. Illuminati scum fucker, here we go. Illuminati scum fucker, grab the oar. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Said, hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the Hey, now, seek the walls, everybody out there, seek the walls, hey, now, seek the walls, everybody, everybody, seek the ice walls, not an ounce of sense in that Angus head, shit, nothing stops an Angus cause he's stupid, Come on, baby. you got your mind made up and your mind is dumb, and now I'm stuck filling out insurance forms, I'm sorry, you wanna boat away to somewhere that you think is real but isn't cause you haven't thought it through and cause you haven't got a reason to be questioning yourself because your narcissistic mind is telling you that everything is all okay, it's you wanna boat away to somewhere that you think is real but isn't Cause you haven't thought it through And cause you haven't got a reason to be questioning yourself You your narcissistic mind is telling you that everything is all okay It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Hey, now, seek the walls Everybody out there, seek the walls Say, hey, now, seek the walls Everybody out there, seek the walls Hey, now, seek the walls Everybody out there, seek the walls Hey, now, seek the walls Everybody, everybody, everybody. Bing.